Good day, LBC Capital family. I have a friend who taught me a very important leadership principle. It comes in the form of an acronym we call BLUFF, which means bottom line up front. Now, sometimes in our efforts to be nice and pleasant and kind, we can sidestep saying the firm words, the words that may come across as harsh and uncaring, but are words that we really need to hear, words that help us grow, words that help us mature, and ignoring them, it doesn't really help, it actually hurts. So here's my bluff, wear your mask. You know, by the grace of God, we made it uh, to and through day one of our new semester, but we wanna get all the way to November 20th, and we want to do it in person, which means these next two weeks are critical. And we continue to refine our protocols to ensure your safety, provide the best environment for teaching and learning, and continuing an in-person experience all the way to that November 20th date. But to do it, it's gonna take all of us wearing this and following the guidelines. Now I get it, surviving the COVID semester is frustrating. Wearing a mask is frustrating. Temperature checks, social distancing, the temporary sidelining of sports, takeout meals, occasional lines entering the campus, and especially our inability to gather for chapel. But we endure these challenges because we know what's at stake. And what's at stake is an in-person, face-to-face experience this fall at LBC all the way to November 20. Now, when I think about all this, I think about Paul's words to the Philippians, rooted in the very conduct of Christ himself. And Paul's words really need to be our rallying point. Here's what he says, not looking to your own interests, but each of you also to the interests of others. Now, if I'm looking to the interests of others, I'm gonna wear my mask. I'm gonna act responsibly on campus, but also off campus. I'm gonna play by the rules. I'm gonna adopt a, a can-do attitude, and it means I'm gonna embrace the challenge, not with a sense of, why do I have to do this, but more with a sense of joy. And that's what Jesus did. The writer of Hebrews says that the joy before him fueled the perseverance in him. Now we're calling these first two weeks the first 14. And we want to exercise incredible vigilance. And at the end of our second week together, we'll examine every facet of this collective experience, as well as the Pennsylvania guidelines, to see how we can adjust the following two weeks to be a little more pleasant for all of us. So thanks. Thanks for remembering what's at stake. Thanks for refusing to give up. Thanks for looking to the interests of others. I know it's gonna be worth the effort for all of us.